It's time for the 360 round on Spotify. So let's talk all about this with our panel. David Carr is with us, Senior Insights Manager at Similar Web, and David Shuloff is with us, Founder and CEO at Music. David Shuloff, I'll start with you. I know the company has been cutting costs, in fact, did some layoffs. And so, so far, so good. I mean, what do you think here? Price increases have been underway. Look, uh, huge quarter for Spotify, Nicole. Right now they're focused on increasing revenues and profitability. They're losing a lot less money. So they crushed their subscriber numbers for paid subscribers. They crushed their monthly active users and they raised their rates last quarter. Now what we're seeing is the benefit from all of the increased price hikes. They're also shifting their strategy instead of paying lots of money for exclusivity on deals with like Joe Rogan and Alex Cooper for Call Your Daddy, they're now distributing these podcasts across all their platform, across all other platforms. So you can find these shows on Apple, on Amazon, and they're controlling the monetization. And they also moved into audiobooks too. They now have 200,000 titles. I think Britney Spears is like their top title right now. So they're really crushing it. This is a huge quarter for them for the growth of their monthly active users, for the growth of their paid subscribers, but they're really focused now on not just the top of the funnel, as you heard Daniel Eck on his Spotify call this morning, they're not only growing revenues at the top, of, uh, they're not only growing subscribers at the top of the funnel, but they're really focused on generating incremental revenue in the middle of the funnel of their existing paid subscribers. Right, ad supported, uh, I see monthly active users was up 28%. Um, David Carr, your thoughts here, because I mean, the growing ad business too, right? Yeah, it, it was actually the, the highest volume of activity on their ad sales portal that we've seen in the, the, the whole time we've been tracking it. And, you know, it's a, it's a small part of their revenue. It's only about 16%, but it's something that allows them to earn some money on those subscribers who stick with the free tier and who may never upgrade. Um, so they get to earn some money there and then hopefully also convince some fraction of those people to upgrade over time. Yeah, um, you know, D David Shuloff, you mentioned Joe Rogan and, you know, he's back, right? They've made this agreement, the Wall Street Journal saying that this could be worth $250 million. Um, Tell me more about something like that for Spotify. Look, they still need to cut key talent deals. So Joe, Joe is a huge draw, but I think the key here is that they're not going to overpay and they're going to monetize this. They want to open up the platform. They're no longer gating it It's for these podcasts. It's no longer closed, right? You can find these on other platforms. They're going to control the monetization and the distribution. So they figure, you know what? They can make more money by selling ads across other platforms, and they want to invite more people to join Spotify, get them to join, and have them become a premium paid subscriber. So they did this with Joe. They did the deal with Alex Cooper. They have Wall Street Journal. They've got a number of different shows. They're really crushing it in podcasting right now. Uh, I'm really impressed with what they've done this quarter. Oh, neat. Okay, so that's good news there. I mean, also the user growth, which really was a positive surprise, David Carr. Where do you think Spotify stands in the world of people getting their music? I mean, I know you study a lot of the trends. Tell me a little bit about the landscape, David Carr. Well, I'd, I'd say one of the things that it impressed me the most when, it, when I was looking at, at our estimates on them is the amount of time people s spend on the app. Um, you know, over 20 minutes per day on average. And of course, a lot of people do a lot more than that. And it's growing strongly. It's, it's growing strongly than, than the majority of their competitors. Uh, also- What would you say would the, be some of their competitors? Well, uh, you know, Yahoo, Yahoo Music is, is a big one. Um, and, uh, but you know, Certainly, there's a game, but we, we we actually don't have great uh, measurement on Apple Music because it's so much baked into the platform as opposed to being a separate app. But um, but but they are doing well, um, and uh, and and also growing. You know, not just in the U.S., not just Europe, but but very much internationally. Uh, they apparently had their strongest growth outside of the U.S. Uh, in, in several regions. Uh, and one of the things uh, that uh, we know about them is that they, they have a good reputation for really internationalizing their product. 
Uh, so when they go into Japan, they, they made sure that there was a, a karaoke sing-along feature uh, because that was important right, right. and that was something that was on a lot of the competitive apps. Yeah. David Shuloff, you know, we just had the Grammys. I mean, this is your world. You were in the record business before you had your um, music, M-U-S-Q-E-T-F, which you've been on, uh, has been featured in Barron's and you've spoken to us. And that is a music um, exclusive ETF. Um, tell me your thoughts, maybe a quick thought on the Grammys and some of the names in the music ETF. A few seconds on each. No, well, for yeah, okay. Well, first, the Grammys, it was obviously a huge year. And just a big shout out to all the women that won, from Miley Cyrus to Taylor to Victoria Monet to SZA. It was just an amazing year at the Grammys. Um, MUSQ, we're the first pure play music ETF. We're giving investors total exposure to the music industry. We've got companies like Spotify, Warner Music Group, Universal, Sony, Apple, Amazon, Google, Live Nation, CTS Eventum, all the K-pop stocks. So if you want exposure to the global music industry, you want to take a look at MUSQ. We have 45 holdings in our fund. Half the, fu half the holdings are domestic, half are foreign, and we're really capturing all the growth, innovation, and excitement around the music industry. Yeah, it, and it was a great Grammys, a lot of fun. I have to say, this one was certainly standout. Miley Cyrus, love. And of course, Taylor Swift is huge. Great to see you both, David and David. David Carr of Similar Web and David Schulhoff of Music, MUSQ. Thank you both.